Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and today I want to show you the kitchen gadgets that I have in my RV, which you may want to buy some for yours or just for your home. And I purchased all of these, almost all of these, on Amazon. So I'm putting a link in the description below to the item on Amazon so you can just click on go right there and then click on purchase if you like it. So first I want to show you starting to the left by my refrigerator I have a knife holder here they call it a knife safe which is a real handy place to put your really sharp knives and get them out of your silverware drawers so you don't accidentally stab yourself just have the butter knives in the silverware drawer and next thing I wanted to show you is the temperature monitor for my refrigerator it shows the freezer is at 13 degrees and wow just a few minutes ago it was down to like 8 degrees when it, you open the door, <laughs> it goes up really quickly. And then you can see that the refrigerator is 40 degrees. And I have it on my microwave oven. It's just got a magnetic backing here. The instructions that came with it said not to put it too close to the sensors. For some reason that can cause it to not work right. So you can put it any place where you have a magnetic backing. And I think it is important to have a good monitor of the temperature because you can have this freezer door just open just very slightly and it doesn't take long before it'll go from 8 degrees to 20 degrees or something. And next is, on top of my cooktop, I have a toaster. And you put a slice of bread here, you put a slice of bread here, you turn on the gas cooktop and it makes toast really quickly you got to watch it really closely because it takes like just a minute to make toast and right above that I have my presto pizza oven and actually I rarely use it to make pizza <laughs> you can really cook anything oh by the way it's got this real handy handle. The handle comes out over almost on top of the cooktop here. So when you're not using it, you just put the handle back like that. And you can cook anything in here that is no more than about two inches high at the most. And this one has a about 12 inches square cooking area. So I use that a lot for a lot of things. Next is electric can opener. And next to that is my blender. Now, there are numerous, numerous blenders you can buy. <clears throat> there is only one blender that I can find that is works off of 12 volt. And I do have a 12 volt outlet right here that um, I rarely use, but on occasion I use it for battery charging or something. The 12 volt blender, which is made by a major company, I think it's Oster or one of them. And you go on Amazon, it's there. You look at the customer comments and everybody's has the same complaint and it's a very weak blender because I think it's only 150 RPM and many blenders are like as much as 2,500 RPM. <laughs> this one is 350 and I got this one because it was 350. It's the lowest speed 110 powered blender I could find and it works really good. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six speeds. 
and you put it on the high speed and <laughs> I can't imagine why you would need a blender faster than that. So these people that get super duper fast blenders, it seems like overkill to me. And next to that is my Presto popcorn popper, which I use a lot and I really like it because making popcorn by hot air really is the healthiest way because there's no oil involved in it. And next is my iced tea maker. And I have used this thing hundreds of times making iced tea. So I'm going to show you how you do that. You pour about a quart and a half of water in here. And then you put four tea bags in this, you put that on there, you close it, press the button to start, and then you put the bucket that comes with it. And it'll start making tea, it slowly drips out here. I just really love that iced tea maker. And then next to that is an electric hot plate. And the reason I have that is even though I do most of my cooking on this gas cooktop, when I'm in an RV park where I'm paying a daily fee for the space there, which includes unlimited use of electricity, I don't want to be using up my gas, my propane to do cooking. So in those cases, I will use this cooktop for frying anything or cooking something in a small pot. And I also have a purified water spigot here. And I had installed the very best water filter I could get that really is more like a water purifier. There is a water filter that comes with the RV on the outside of the unit, which is just a very basic water filter. I don't think it filters water well enough to be drinkable. So I had this installed with the water filter. It's installed a few feet away and this way I don't have to be dragging hundreds of bottles of water from the store. I can just fill them up as I need them. Now, lastly, I want to show you a gadget I just recently purchased, which is my apple peeler. I'm going to get the glare of the sun off of here. And I bought this apple peeler. This model in particular because I wanted one that was not electric. I used to have an electric one and it didn't last long before it broke. And this thing is all steel. There is no plastic in here. This is a super really well made. And when I bought it I thought it was nothing but an, uh, a peeler. Turns out it does a whole lot more. Well, it does three things. It not only peels the apple, but it pulls the core out. And then it does one more thing that really kind of surprised me. By the way, it has this suction cup that you put on and it holds it really steady so you can do it all with one hand. So you just turn it. And... As it goes through here peeling the apple, it, it not only peels it and pulls the core out, but believe it or not, it slices the apple as well. And that kind of surprised me. But let me show you. Let 
Look at this. Isn't this amazing? <laughs> I am so surprised that such nice apple peels. Look at that. That is so clever, whoever designed that. I didn't, I didn't even know they did this. And then it pulls the core out as well. So I highly recommend getting one of those on Amazon. And again, look at the links below and you'll see all these things there. So I just want to show you the gadgets that I have in the kitchen and I recommend them all. They're really marvelous. You can see I've got my tea going here. Just drips out and it comes out super hot. It has its own heater in it so you don't have to use hot water. I put it, you put cold water in it and it's, it has a super good heating element. So there are my kitchen gadgets. Just wanted to show you about those. And these are the kind of things you might want to have for your kitchen. There's other gadgets too. Other things. You can have just a regular toaster. But let me tell you, with this pizza oven, I do all my toasting. When I'm using electricity, I'll do my toasting in this pizza oven. Or if I'm not, then I use that one on the gas grill. But you can have a regular electric toaster if you want to. There's other gadgets, but these are the ones that I like the most. So there you go, folks. Good day.